If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. For those that have already seen me before, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandon with Brands Logic. You know I'm always trying my best to give you an honest review. And this video is no exception. So let's get to it. So I picked up what Freewell is calling their Bright Day 4 pack. It comes in this really nice brushed aluminum case with a purple ribbon band all the way around. The open spot here, you pop it open like that. So I figured the 4 should be able to cover me in most sunny conditions. I have the ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64, and they're all polarized as well, and I will show you that in one second. Freewell has also supplied a colored manual, which is really nice. It explains each filter and what conditions to use them in. You can either stick it in your pocket, or what I like to do is just put it right inside the case. And I also picked up the ND1000 exposure from them as well. This one is a plastic case, which has two magnets on it, and it locks in. They leave you an open spot, which I use for my stock lens. When I take off the original lens, you can nest it right inside and it'll be protected, which is nice. Now the rubber gasket that seals this for waterproof is inside the housing, not on the lens itself. So you just screw it in hand tight and that's it. Now the polarization on it is this little wheel in front and you can rotate it. That'll allow more or less light as you turn it. So it just so happens to be a perfect day outside for us to test these ND filters out. So without any further ado, let's go. All right, so here we are outside. So for your run and gun shots, of course you're gonna wanna just use the auto settings. It looks good, you can throw it in 4K, 30 frames per second, and you're on your way. But what about the content creators like myself? And that is why they make ND filters. Now ND stands for neutral density. It allows us to have a larger aperture. In other words, letting less light in. Let's go ahead and change the settings now on it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is scroll up. And we're going to go ahead and put it on 4K at 30 frames per second. Drop that down. We're going to slide it over. Go into our manual mode. Take our ISO down. You want the ISO down as low as you can go. We'll take that to 100. The 180 degree rule of thumb, if it's at 30 frames per second, we want to be double that. So we're going to go ahead and go 1 over 60. There we go. And we're all set. Now we're going to see it blown out. All right, first up is your ND8 with a 3F stop. And look at the ND filter doing its job, drastically changing the lighting right away. Let's adjust the polarization ring here. And as you can see, the sky turning dark to light. And that's exactly why I got the polarization option on these. Okay, this is with the ND16 with a 4F stop. And now you can see the lighting getting a little bit darker just in the polarization ring here and this is with the ND32 with a 5 f-stop again getting darker this would be more for brighter light and also achieving that motion blur and the last filter is your ND64 with a 6 f-stop you would use this for extreme sunlight conditions you'll be able to control the shutter speed to its lowest setting for that perfect cinematic shot. Well, there you have it, creators. Four ND filters that'll take care of you. If you have an overcast day, you got a filter. If you have a cloudy day, you've got a filter. By the way, happy 4th of July to everybody out there. But even in the sunniest conditions, you can still maintain your settings. So this is the right exposure. I have the sun directly right on me and it looks like this ND filter is holding up pretty good. This is the ND16 and it is four stops. So I've been hearing a lot of hype about using ND filters screws up the Rocksteady. I'll tell you what, I have Rocksteady on right now. 
I've got an ND filter on right now. We've got all our settings set. All right, you're about to see a fat guy run. Let's do this. Ready? Oh, taking my flip flops off, man. I don't want to derf it. All right, flip flops are off. Here we go. Well, there you have it. I know there's a lot of videos out there right now talking about the ND filters, but hey, I thought I would throw one out there as well. If you guys have any questions on these filters, please don't hesitate to drop me a comment below. Or if you have any questions on the DJI Osmo Action, we can talk about that as well. So if you're interested in these ND filters, I will drop a link down in the description where you can pick them up. So even though I give Freewell the hype, I am not sponsored by them by any means. I buy all their products with my own money. And who knows, maybe after watching a few of my videos, they might reach out. In case you're wondering, that right there and on my arms, I was working on the yard the other day and fell into that bush over there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I think I caught some poison oak, so I gotta go get some calamine lotion. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon to notify you on every video I upload. Share, and don't forget to punch that like button for me. It really helps my channel grow, and I will see you guys in the next video. Tell you what, I need to start watching those uh, workout channels.